Dude, it's Christmas and it's like 70 degrees Fahrenheit right now. I'm in long sleeves and it's hot. Peace, love, vegan. Mom and dad got me that shirt for Christmas. Um, I'm trying to like avoid people because I don't want to look weird. So I'm walking the other way. Um, yeah, beautiful day. Christmas day. Um, I've been... You know, most people are eating junk food on Christmas, and I I did my Daterade in the morning, had a little coconut milk in it. It was so good. They were really good dates, and it was just so smooth and such a good Daterade. I've been eating just straight potatoes all day. I'm going to have some rice and beans later with tomato sauce. Uh, what else? Sweet potatoes. Uh, oh. Did I save this wormy? There you go, buddy. He looks dehydrated or something. Eh, he seems all right. Just all, almost dried out. Here you go. There, have some. What do you do? You just put some dirt on him. He'll soak it up or something. I think he needs water. Um. Oh shit. This guy, barely alive. I think it might be dead. Let's put him back in the dirt. Um, yeah, I'll come back and give that guy water in a minute. Just quick video. Oh my god. So many dead worms. Okay. Three worms. Hopefully I don't find any more. Um, distractions. Uh, so yeah, I'm just chilling at my parents' place. This gorgeous neighborhood, it's just like freaking incredible. I can't believe how amazing today is. What? Yeah, people like have trouble with junk food on Christmas. And what else did I eat today? Or what else am I eating? The dates, the sweet potatoes, the rice and beans. Um, oh yeah, a bunch of prunes. So plenty of sugar, plenty of carbs. As I do every single day. And guilt free. Just stuffing my face as I always do. No exercise. See how slim I am? Like, no exercise for like two months or something like that. It was, it's December. I haven't done any exercise in, like consistently or significantly since late August. Late August. So it's been months. Months and months. And I'm stay, staying slim. Binge eating every single meal. Um, yeah, what else? We went to church last night for the, uh, Christmas Eve service, and, uh, it was pretty nice. Like, all the music was really nice, and, you know, saw, saw some good old people that I see about once or twice a year, and, uh, they, it seems like they know everything about me, because my parents go there every week, but I can't even remember anybody's name, so it's kind of funny. Um, but the, the preacher, or whatever you call it, the reverend, gave a really nice sermon. She was talking about, um, she was talking about suicide bombers and shit, you know, like the, the really important shit going on in the world. And, uh, that was part of her sermon, you know, and basically her message was that, uh, well, she used metaphors and similes and stuff to describe what we have to do to defeat these people because she said you can't outgun the wicked. You can't outgun the evil. You know, it's like Bob Marley said, the wicked will, will perish, lead them to their own devices and they shall perish. And that was her message. You know, and uh, mo most people I talk to kind of share this sentiment. But she also was saying, not, she's not just saying you can't outgun them, she's not saying there's nothing you can do. She also encouraged practicing extra peace, and it was, she said it in such a beautiful way. I wish I could remember how she said it. It was really powerful, um, but not quite objective. For most people, they were just sitting there. I was looking around. I'm, I'm, I'm like, yeah, you know, oh. you know, just really relating to everything she said because I put these her the principles she was describing into practice in my daily life. Um, and I'm not saying. It, most people don't, but the, 
I just, this is like running through my head constantly, these, this extreme peace, you know, just these thoughts of peace and my vision of like a peaceful planet and my vision of just a utopia, you know, it's always in my mind at all times. There's a lot of dead worms right now. That's too bad. Um, I hopefully saved at least one of them. Um, anyway, um, it's looking around the, the church and most of the people are just kind of sitting there, like, you know, maybe a little smile on their face. Or like, I don't even know if most of them were listening. Maybe half were really engaged in it. But, the, you know, the church was asleep. The church was asleep. They're all just kind of, I think I just had an easier time relating to the things she was saying about practicing extra peace, about being, um, it, it, really her message was a Christian one of just hope, um, you know, and, and not giving a fuck. Live your life, and uh, don't don't let stuff get get to your head, and don't let the threat of uh, you know people coming out to shoot you for no good reason. Um, well, I think they do have good reason because we're all corrupt, you know. Uh, eliminating humans from the planet is not the worst idea in the world. Um, I forget where I was even going with that because it's just a negative thought, but uh. Shouldn't even be wearing shoes, it's so hot out. In New Hampshire, I get this is just bizarre. So we're we're running out of time, man. We're we are so fucked. Like we're so fucked. Um I I just, I just think that that I can really relate to what this this preacher was saying, this pastor or whatever, uh about putting more peace into the world because I, I know a way to actually do that besides just giving. And I, you know, everybody does this, but this, and I'm not trying to like bring anybody down. I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm right, you're wrong. But here's what I, like, the, the, my diet is better than most people's diet, ethically, in terms of impact on the planet and impact on other life forms, you know, plants and animals. The fruit-based diet, man, so much better for the planet. I, you could be eating the most local, organic, fucking free-range, grass-fed chicken and beef or something for Christmas here. And my dates ship from California. Just that, you know, kick your meal's ass in terms of ethics. Sorry, but it's true. Um, but yeah, anyway, try to wrap it up. It's already like seven minutes long. Uh, I'm not trying to bring people down, but I, I would have liked to see people more enthusiastic about practicing extra peace. Like, all, what what's on your plate? That's like the one. That's like the biggest thing. Yeah, you can like go and give people Christmas gifts, and that's like yeah, hell yeah. Like giving gifts is awesome, but everybody does that, even me. The biggest thing you can do, eat a eat a more simple, healthy diet, man. Eat eat the cheap, simple starches, the bananas, dates. Eat the cheap, healthy stuff. And that that will just change your impact on the world. And it just, ah, oh yeah, just simple vegan food, so powerful. And so people are like, why are you always preaching about veganism? We're not at that point yet. We're, we're not in this, like, advanced society where we can, like, not be mean to animals. We're still in this, like, primitive, we're savages, you know? And I'm just like, I disagree. I don't think we are savages. We're most... We have the most technologically advanced society that we can possibly imagine right now. If we can imagine something greater, boom, China's done it already, like, be, overnight. If an idea appears, it's fucking reality immediately in this day and age. It's fucking amazing. So, like, yeah, just don't underestimate yourself. Don't underestimate yourself. Uh, none of us have all the answers, but dude, do this fucking diet. Changes the way you see the world, it just, it just makes, uh, yeah, it makes a radical impact on your philosophy, blah, 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 be fucking vegan, I'm not saying eat a plant-based diet, because plant-based diet, yeah, that's better for your health, but be vegan, I mean, plant-based diet for the environment and for your health, be vegan for peace, man, that's what it is, so, lots of people that eat plants, that eat plant-based diets, 100% vegan diets, don't like being called vegans because they don't like the stigma attached to it. That's fine, but 
I think you should be ethical, vegan, hardcore, in your face. This is how it should be because of the way this preacher was talking about just being a good person. It's like we all, we, we all have to push our boundaries. And if you're not interested in veganism, all the more reason for you to push your boundaries and become that way. Uh, Cause that, that means like you're doing extra, you're doing it, it for maybe some people have such bad issues with meat. I don't understand it. I was a binge eater. I was on the streets. My binge eating made me homeless. I couldn't fucking function and have a job and a home. I was a bum sleeping behind McDonald's dumpsters, waking up in the middle of the night for a piss, shoving, you know, get, getting into the dumpster and filling my stomach till it hurt again, fall asleep. Wake up six in the morning, first thing I do, hit the dumpsters for junk food. Fucking as soon, you know, I'd eat until I, it hurt. I had such bad issues with food. It, it, it destroyed my, all my relationships. I don't even have like the old friends that I used to have. Cause I'd just like, pff, put them out of my life. And being vegan is like the easiest fucking thing for me. I, I just, you know, my personal circumstances, people have different issues with stuff. But just carb the fuck up. Eat your favorite carbs. All your favorite foods are carbs. You don't have to eat food straight out of the earth like I do. Like, mm, the potatoes I had today were just moist. There's these moist potatoes. I'm just eating them like candy bars or energy bars, which they are. Um, you don't have to do that. You can make like rice dishes. You can make pasta dishes. Just eat like straight, oh man, I, when I first went, what I do, I'd cook a 3,000 calorie pot of white rice, and I'd just cook it and it's just a big brick of fucking starchy goodness, and then I'd dump sugar on it, and it would be like half white rice, half sugar, and i eat that, and fucking just like fruit juices all day and stuff. Just sugar, 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 man, carbs, carbs, carbs. And actually, I was lighter when I was doing that, when I was just, like straight up fucking just refined sugar diet like it, it just slimmed me down I lost weight doing that hardcore I don't know why it doesn't make sense I was eating so many calories just straight from refined sugar I don't get how it works but it did like I'm, I'm like 20 pounds heavier than when, <laughs> than when I was doing that I'm still like I feel great I feel better now than I ever have but I'm just saying like carbs are slimming they make you lose weight and, uh, you know, weight should not be an issue. Oh, man, but fuck, oh, fuck. Um, yeah, so, like, I, I, this, I wish people could have, um, I'm gonna show this to people that actually saw that sermon last night, because it was really good, and, um, you know, maybe the people weren't really listening, because they couldn't relate, they're like, ah, you know, she's just talking, she's not really saying anything. You know, but when, what I heard from it was, like, the the message I got from all the metaphors and, and spiritual uh, abstract language she was using was, hey, like, be kind to animals. Like, even though you don't have to, it, it says something. It makes a statement. You just make a statement, man. I, I, so you can go, you can walk up to a homeless person just sitting there not asking for money. You can hand that guy 20 bucks keep walking you feel good for about 10 minutes and you should do that I walk through I walk every fucking step of my day every day 24 hours a day 365 days a year every moment I have this powerful knowledge that I'm making a statement I wear it on my shirt I make a statement every day and, and you should too so if it's not veganism you're missing out because it's so easy to do you should do it but try it, try it, dude, and, and promote something. I mean, I'm not saying try veganism. I'm saying try to make a statement 24-7. Wear that statement on your, just be that statement. Whatever it is, and promote it. Get on YouTube. Fucking troll people on Facebook. Get angry. It doesn't matter. Who cares what people think of you? Make a statement and have that statement fucking be who you are. Like, just make that who you are promote something, do something with your life, be the example, and encourage other people to do it, 
and this can be your career. It will be your career. If you have something that you believe in, there's some change that, you, that you're making in your life and you want to see others make, that's what you're meant to do in life. So whatever that is, tell me. Leave it in the comments, okay? Send a reply video. Send a response. Don't talk shit about the, what I'm doing because what I'm doing fucking works and, and it's, it's good. Like it's, it's the best, best thing you can do. So instead of talking crap about what I'm doing, talk to me about what you're doing and help me understand what you're trying to promote. Otherwise, if you're just a hater, you're worthless. You're not doing anything. And that's disappointing. And that makes me want to help you even more. So I'm going to be on your ass. If you're a hater, I'm going to be all over you. And uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I'm going to spend more time trying to convince the haters than the people who are kind of, eh, you know, I don't know, cool man, that's great that you do that. Uh, the haters are the ones that get my attention just because they're wrong. <laughs> you know, the veganism is fucking real. It works. It's powerful. And if you disagree with that, that's fine, but you're still fucking wrong. Okay, um... What else do I have to say? I think I got the message across. God, go vegan. Peace, plants, health, love. Hit me up if you have any questions. I am a dietitian in training. I would love to give you some of my time and energy to help you um, deal with your health struggles or something for free. Absolutely free. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm here to help. Um... And yeah, yeah, I'm sure I'd learn a lot from you too if you if you have questions and stuff. So uh, it's it's no cost to me at all. It's uh it's it's a ple it's a great pleasure to be able to help people. So thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. Take care of the planet as best you can. Enjoy this beautiful day. Merry Christmas. Carb the fuck up. Peace. Love. Vegan.